Don't 100% know what this video is going to end up being, but I got one of my bikes here. I've got my trusty yellow shirt. I've got a little bit of my candies left, and I got some smoothies with me. Got some crazy hair. And yeah, so let's see how this goes. Yeah, as you can see, I'm out in the middle of Nowheresville. And yeah, so I don't usually see a lot of traffic. I'm gonna plan out my track right now. And yeah, so let's see how this goes. I'll get the bike put together and we'll take off. I did bring the GoPro as well, so we'll see. I just have to show this because I've never seen anything like this. You see all these flies? This is insane. Anyway, there's a setup over here. I'm filming on the phone right now, but I'm gonna be filming with my GoPro in a second here. There we go. You know, one tip that I have is that I usually find which way the wind is going and I'll, drive, I'll ride that way first. That way on the way back, I got a tailwind. Oh, I also have my safety light. I assume you can see that. I can't even see the screen right now. Anyway. While I'm doing this bike ride, I figured I'll answer some of your questions. I've already done this video once, and unfortunately, video card ran out, or the uh, memory card ran out. So, if I sound grumpy, I'm not grumpy. I don't know what it is. When I read things, like, I sound angry. I'm trying not to. Your instincts are right. Salt is rock. It is not uh, physiological. We get sodium from fruits and vegetables. I don't actually agree with that on, uh, after I've done all this, because... I just don't, and I'll talk about that in the video in the future. If you keep losing 10 pounds a month, you'll be below 200 by Christmas, and you said that you don't want to be that skinny, so maybe eat a little, um, maybe eat a little more to slow, no, I don't want to do that. I'll just get to the weight that I want to get to, and then I'll see where it goes from there. Uh, yeah, but the food uh, was probably better and more natural than, uh, that one's hard to know the context, because they're referring to a timestamp. <clears throat> A lot of people ask this question, what dosage of niacinamide does Georgie recommend? And I link his website in that description section. You're gonna have to go check that out because I don't know. I think there's a, some kind of formula that he has on his website, so you have to check that out. Bro, you ate five pounds of potatoes, please stop. I think they were just joking around. Yeah, I, I ate five pounds of t potatoes. Uh, it's pretty easy to do if that's all you're eating. And I'm talking about like in a sitting. What's going on these days is the keto and carnivore communities are flaming the fruit uh, fear to the point of insanity. I agree with that and I don't agree with that because a lot of these carnivore dudes are eating fruit now. So are they fanning it? There is certainly a fanning of hating fruit because if you go type in fruit, blah, 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 it, it, will, it will bring up fear, fear, fruit fear. Like how, how can that be possible? So yeah, it's true. They're really, why do you make thing, uh, why do you make everything so complicated? Now this is to my seller sizer video. I was bouncing on a, t a seller sizer and I was eating fruit and potatoes and like a little bit of rice now and then. I don't, how is that complicated? I, and I lost 12-ish pounds, so it doesn't seem complicated to me. I yawn when I bounce indoors. There's uh, not enough fresh oxygen or sunlight inside. My best, most energizing jumping sessions are outside under a tree. 100% agree. Other, other, other than I don't do it under a tree, I like going in the sun because I like getting sun. And ticks like to come down on you when you're under a tree, so try to avoid that. My, uh, for nutrition, carnivore beats vegan hands down. That statement is absolutely absurd. It's just absurd. 
It's kind of like if I, I made this statement before, but it's, I think it's, you know, pretty accurate. If you are looking to build a skyscraper, do you go knock down another skyscraper and then build the skyscraper with the material that you just got, or you just buy new raw materials? Because when you're eating fruits and vegetables, you're getting the, the raw material to build your body up. When you're eating carnivore or meat, you're having to break that down to, you know, reuse it and it, it they, people have this mentality like well if my collagen is is bad uh i'll just eat collagen and my collagen will grow back if that worked if that worked if you're bald why don't you go eat hair tell me that if you are bald if you believe the college by eating collagen you're going to build collagen then go eat hair if you're bald and tell me how that works sorry doesn't work I believe the carnivore, ketovore, or meat-based is the way, and for some health issues, the lion diet is the way for, <laughs> for a while until those issues clear up and improve. Oh, boy. We are not lions. I might be a Leo. I might have been born in August and be a Leo, but I am not a lion. I don't have, I don't walk on all fours. I don't have claws. I can't run up to an animal and kill it with my own claws. I don't sniff the ass of my fellow lion to make sure they're in my tribe. I don't kill the other lions, uh, the tr tribes, you know, little cubs, cause they're in my way. I mean, there's so many things that would let you know that you're not a lion. Unless this is one of those, like you're dressing up as a lion and going to school thing, I have no idea, but yeah, no, that, that doesn't work, sorry. Most ex-vegans left because they want to make money on carnivore or they were trying to live on broccoli juice and kale. That is, that is the two groups. That is mostly the two groups. Or there's a third group who's like, I can't handle this because everywhere I go has meat and cheese and cheese whiz on everything and I just can't handle that. You know, I just can't handle that. There's a couple of different groups. You look uh, really healthy and, and rested. Your current lifestyle shows that very clearly. I have essentially become a beach mom. I go to the beach, I go to the lake, I do artwork, I do videos, and I got this bed where I sleep on the floor. It, you know, it is what it is. Um, rebounding is important for lymphatic system. It collects, and I don't, people are gonna come on here and like, you're the laziest motherfucker on the planet. I am not, actually. I work a lot. I, I simplify my day, okay? That's me simplifying my day. Rebounding is important for lymphatic system. It collects lymphatic fluid, which is removed during rebounding. Better than cycling or running. Glad you said that 100% because when you're cycling, like I'm doing in the background right now, your upper body really isn't doing a ton. Now, if you're on bumpy roads like I was, I don't think you can, I was using the GoPro. The GoPro is pretty decent at leveling that stuff out. Those roads were insane. Like, I'm like, what? I feel like I'm on a planet here, like on Mars, like trying to ride my bike. So that is gonna drain your lymphatic system. But if you're on smooth road or tarmac or whatever you wanna call it, your upper body's really not getting a ton of lymphatic drainage. And if you're running, uh, it, it, you know, if you watch that cellar sizer video I did, if you didn't go watch it, because NASA talked about like the G-forces on the ankle and the knee are really bad in the and on the forehead are really bad. And I think that's one of the reasons why you see people who run a lot, they, they look older than they are. Now, people who walk, they, they don't go through that. It's, unless they're like in hokas and slamming their feet into the ground or whatever. All right, so I was out here riding and I kind of um, could tell that my saddle was too, too low. So I'm going to actually kind of show you. So anyway, there's the collar so you can adjust it. Um, but this is a saddle I ride on all my bikes. It's a Brook Cambium. They're actually leather. Most Brook saddles are actually uh, leather, but they do make some vegan versions of it as well. So check that out. But anyway, maybe I'll link this saddle down below because I love them. I've been using them for 
almost 10 years actually. My body alerts me not to eat uh, too much fruit. That's because you've got fruit fear going on. I agree to stop uh, trying to force your body to lose weight. You got to, right? Get your body healthy, it'll lose the weight. Uh, thank you, I'm trying to a health balance for a week and see what happens and then jog. I don't have a salad sizer, but, but just have to use what I got. Great, I've had so many issues with the cheaper rebounders that I don't recommend them. I have been rebounding last three months and eating the same way from before, not lost a single pound. I am getting a muscle in legs, but same way. Nathan Pritikin talked about this. If you start an exercise program and you start seeing like that you're actually building muscle, chances are that you are losing weight, but your body composition is changing. It's that maybe what you were eating before wasn't good. Maybe it wasn't enough. Maybe it's too much. Really hard to tell. Not enough context. Hit is the best way to lose weight. 100% not. No, it's not. It is not. Cor it raises your cortisol. Hit raises your cortisol. It's just not the best way to go. If you don't, if you can't afford a cellar sizer, just go walk. If you if you got a bike, go ride bike. That's it. Just ride. This hit thing. When your cortisol is high, this is this is coming from the same person that says they can't lose weight. If your cortisol is high, you are not going to lose weight. It's not possible. You're in fight or flight. It's not possible to lose weight in that. Be honest, you are counting calories now, aren't you? Yes, I am actually. I started counting calories. I realized I wasn't eating enough. I added more calories in. That's why I wasn't recovering. I wasn't recovering. When I first, if you watch the cellar sizer video, like I mentioned a few times in here, go watch it. Don't hurt my feelings. I realized that I wasn't recovering and I'm like, there's a couple of things going on here. It's probably because I'm not just not eating enough. I get so lazy. I don't, like I said in that video, if I did not have to eat or sleep, I wouldn't do either one. I don't, you know, I, I, I just don't like either one. So yeah, I mean, technically you're right. Uh, Ryan, thanks for the video. Great tip about not using momentum on a cellar sizer with good uh, uh, po posture, vertical posture, pushing each foot into the mat or into the trampoline, 100%. Don't use momentum. If you're weightlifting, don't use momentum. You're not doing anything. You're just, you're wasting your time. You will have quadruple the results if you actually just lift the weight. And in cellar sizing, cellar sizing, you are the weight. So you have to be doing the movement. Don't use momentum. If you are, just don't bother. Pointless. Uh, the main reason, uh, especially, like, at least pump your calves because your calves are like your second, um heart basically they you know so at least pump your uh, your calves the main reason i'm not losing weight is people telling me to eat more okay who's the crazy one here i did respond to this the one claiming they're eating too much uh too, too much food or the one listening to other people telling them to eat more food even though they think they're eating too much food and then eating more food make it make sense please Why are you not riding your bike? I am in the background. You started to move more so you burn more calories. No, I talked about this in the damn video. Watch the video. I lessened the amount of exercise I was doing and I lost 12 pounds. Sorry, 
No, not true. NASA does not go anywhere. Space is made in Hollywood. Great. Probably true, but they did find those studies on the trampoline, so that doesn't really, you know, unless they were bouncing to the, through the atmosphere, I don't know. Keep this up and you'll easily be 180 pounds in a couple years. That sounds gross to me. That's too light. Seems like a great exercise for blood flow. It is. Uh, what music do you listen to while you bounce? I don't listen to anything except for my own thoughts and my voices. I use mine to do various jumping jacks on it. Get the lymph flow flowing. I'm going to do something new too. Maybe jumping on it five or ten minutes before bed. Why would you do that? Your body is supposed to be at a cool temperature to fall asleep. So why would you go jumping five to ten minutes before bed? That doesn't make any sense. The idea of the lights in the back. Uh, thank you. Uh, they're talking about the lighting. Wow, you lost a lot of weight. Thank you. Thanks for sharing uh, what you learned. That's what the video is for. Uh, 260 is the lowest weight you've been in the two and a half years of your channel. Big congratulations. Yes, it is. Thank you. It's, I believe, actually, I'm under 260 now. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. Thank you very much. I, I, I do mean that, right? I do mean that. I, just, I try not to get too much in my head with the ego. Are the refried beans uh, that you ate and noticed to increase water retention high in sodium? I believe they're 18%. I just used the Trader Joe's ones. Uh, thank you for an, another great video. I think, oh, that's the fat free ones. I, I, did I have fat ones? I, it's their fat free. Uh, the refried beans. I think you're on the right track and conclusions you're drawing from experience and other experiences. Thank you so much for sharing your journey with us. You're helping me tremendously. I've been yo-yoing, yo-yo dieting for, uh, since I was a teenager and experiment with different diets throughout my adulthood. So a lot of experience in similar to yours. Also, thank you for your last video that you did about the Minnesota starvation experiment. I'm going to research more of those ladies' videos, talks. Yeah, they, they are good. I don't know how to reach out to her because her... Instagram is private, so I don't know where to reach out to her. Uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this. Thank you. I think I have. I think I have. I've lost 22 pounds in the last uh, however many months, two months. What is it, 24? I don't know. It's something. Some amount of weight. I got an inexpensive $20 uh, body fat scale from Amazon. Those are pointless. Honestly, if, you're way, if your water's really high one day, you're going to be like completely different than the day before. I used to use this when I was a trainer, and I hated them. Can you interview Julie over at Plant Based Pout Poser? Don't know who that is. Have you seen the snake diet guy? I have not. Don't know who that is. Here's the thing. I don't really stay on YouTube watching YouTube videos. I probably should. I should probably research more. If you guys have good videos, leave them in the comments. Maybe I'll watch them. Just a thought, Ryan, uh, but you, you might uh, want to take the GFR test. I have had my kidney function tested. There's a few things that are off still. Been fighting the same 10 to 20 pounds my whole life, up and down, chasing an elusive number on the scale. Maybe you're not supposed to have that weight off then. I don't know. Or maybe you're just constantly yo-yoing. Constantly. Ate the kick chaos for your goal weight. Um, that would only make sense if you watched that video. Man, I get a lot of this uh, clickbait. You know, Durian Rider is the fraud, the ugly truth in the show uh, about sugar. Sugar is acidic. He's the one that told me to make. He literally created that video title for me. So is it clickbait still? If he created it, I don't know. Uh, why do you drink two liters of water if you have kidney problems? I'm testing the water thing. I'll talk more about it in the future. I miss Ryan's live streams. I do and I don't. 
If you want me to do live streams again, I guess let me know down in the comment section. Maybe I'll do them again. Wrestlers drink a, a gallon of water a day to cut water weight. Yep. Kind of. Would it be correct to say that you are a white supremacist when it comes to rice? I would think so. Losing weight is the best thing you can do for your health. Hands down, nothing gets close. Anyone who's ever lost a lot of weight knows this. Diet and brace the suck, in my opinion. That is... What is wrong with dieters? Just diet yourself. Doesn't matter about your health. Screw your kidneys and your liver. Just get the weight off, man. You'll be healthier. You might be dead in a couple months, but you'll be fine. That is not a good way to go about it. Good job, bro. Beans uh, should be only be a garnish. I mean, some people can get away with beans. Some people can't. Other restrictions and feeling tired and weak. It's uh, easy to relate to that. I'm working towards more food freedom. Thanks for the video. This one... And the last were especially good. Is that, I'm offended. All my videos are good. I'd like to see you interview strong sisters. You know, I actually didn't even think about reaching out to them. Maybe I could. Do they actually make videos on their own? I really don't watch. I, I, I always see interviews. Uh, what do you think about Rover's Morning Glory? Don't have a clue. Please do an interview with Kathleen Stewart. Like I said, would love to. Here's another one of these questions. What is aspirin dose? 600 milligrams a day for how long? These Georgie videos that I did, if you have a question about how much you should be taking, go to his website. It's the formulas are on there. I don't know. I don't hold that in my brain. Was the ankle replacement surgery done by a podiatrist or orthopedic surgeon that specializes in foot ankle or if, if a podiatrist? He's an orthopedic podiatrist, if that exists. I don't know. Go ask him. I'm doing eggs and milk until God returns. Cool. The problem is more likely your omegas are probably expired and oxidized. Here's the thing, like I don't know what you're talking about if the video is like a year old. So it would make sense if I knew what you were referring to. Durian Rider Sugar works because he is cycling more. I don't know. Go ask him. I like here's the thing. If you look at back in the day, people used to keep an entire tub of sugar on their table for, for flavoring and stuff like that. People were skinny. Like, there was not the sugar fear about everything. They just ate. They were skinny. Like, come on. They were not ex... Most people that I knew, like, from my, like, gr uh, like grandparents and great uncles and stuff like that, I mean, those people were not exactly out there exercising. And they were skinny. And they lasted until, like, 90, 100, so... From my experience, if I if I fasting with microdose of sugar and carb, I feel full and forget to eat. Feed your brain. That is because you are living on cortisol. Cortisol. This is what happens in keto and carnivore too. Cortisol. That's why people have that high. Your body is trying to survive. <clears throat> What's Durian Rider's view on B12? Ask Durian Rider. Moderate cholesterol and saturated fat needs to be in diet along with high carbohydrates. Fat is the backbone of your sex hormones. And why did I double my testosterone by adding sugar into my diet? Ryan, you should watch the interview with Georgie Dinkov by the sisters did a few months ago. I would just watch the <laughs> two that I've done with Georgie myself. Uh, 
Will not get overweight with low fat diet like rice diet. Walter Kempner, MD founder of the rice diet. Yeah, of course. Oh man, my back. I think I am chiropractor bound. Such an awesome video, thanks. I have been trying to figure out my health issues for 10 years and I'm really thinking that calorie restriction has played a huge role. Please do more on this and an interview would be great. Yeah, it really is. Like if you have been constantly restricting, man, my back is really having it right now. Whew. Um, you're gonna struggle because your cortisol is going to be high. Your cortisol is gonna be high. Your insulin resistance is gonna be high. It's gonna be hard to lose weight. Love just talking your thoughts, especially about water retention. I adore you. Uh, I don't like peanut butter. I hate uh, I hate oil. Salt is burning my mouth. Yuck. And I don't like fatty foods at all. And on top of that, all of this fermented foods that uh, stink, stick to me. I love fruits and greens. Fruits and greens is where it's at, for sure. I barely eat a thousand calories and I lose no weight. What are you doing? Are you like a three day old? A thousand calories? If you look at the calorie count for toddlers back in 19, what was it, 47 or 41 or whatever, it was 1,900 calories for a toddler. Why are you eating 1,000 calories? Your hormones are wrecked. No wonder you can't lose weight. I don't know how much more I can do. My back is not having it right now. Uh, why are Americans fat with high fat diet and Indians aren't? Um, the Indian people who eat high fat are not as fat of, as Americans. Now, you really have to look at the ingredient list. If I'm doing this, it's because my back is, is having it. Um, I usually move a lot. I don't understand. I, I think it's a, a partly because of the ingredients that are in our, our food. They do move a lot in India. If you look like, you know, the, have you ever seen the trains and stuff like that? I mean, their commutes are usually like four hours each way and crazy stuff. They're usually there. It's, it's actually so bad that there's actually mostly women who cook these lunches and dinners and they stand at the, the train station and they, they, they sell them. This is how they make their living. That might have something to do with it. It might have to do with the fact that they eat still simple foods. But what they're not escaping is the cancer and the heart disease. They're not escaping it. They're skinnier, but they've still got the same disease. Oh, man. Yeah, I think my back is done. Uh, this is why I usually move a lot. Ryan, you're getting worse grabbing at straws and contradicting yourself. How did I do that? And you have been able to lose weight for so long, blah, 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 blah. The haters are everywhere. If you don't have haters, you don't have a channel. Um, I, I don't know what to say to that. Uh, would love to see another interview with her. Who is her?
wish I actually still use the one third growing method where right up there is like something to make the soil better. This is their crop for the year. That's the crop for the year. And then up here, a couple minutes, I'll show you a different field too. Like they'll let that grow and then it'll die off and then they'll plow it in like two years. That way the soil's always good. Year, this dead stuff will get plowed in. Oh, sorry, I'm breathing. I just climbed a hill. Or breathing heavy, I should say. They still use horses. All right, so that's the end of the ride. No matter how I angle myself, the sun is just in a terrible spot. I need like the diffuser up here. But anyway, there's the bike. Here's me. That was the ride. It was about an hour and 20 minutes, something like that. I'm gonna, I don't know. There's so many flies around here. I might just go. I usually wait and just kind of chill out for a little bit, but oh. anyway, it was a good ride. I definitely recommend uh, if you live in a city, kind of get out of the city and just enjoy something different. I think that's it. Anyway, I'm gonna close it out here, but uh, bike held up well. I'm running 38 mil tires on this thing. I actually have 40 mil tires for it, but I haven't used them yet. Another thing that I wanted to add is I don't really drink a ton of water. I know that goes against everything everybody says, but um, I noticed that I would get obsessed with it and it was just too much. It would become too much water. Man, this, this shirt. <coughs> anyway, that is, that's it. Hopefully you liked it. I absolutely can't see the screen, so I have no idea. I, I'm assuming I'm in shot. Uh, one, a couple of things that I wanted to add to this is the reason I don't drink, drink as much water anymore is because I noticed 
you're already sweating, so you're diluting your uh, minerals and sodium and all that already as it is. So the more you drink, the kind of worse that gets. Now, I, you can do salt water and or whatever, or Gatorade, which is completely toxic. <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of that, so I just drink a little less water. I find that it kind of is the same result. And another thing that I don't do is I don't use clipless pedals anymore. I find that barefoot shoes, like zero shoes, the ones I promote all the time, I'll link that down below. And flat pedals puts way more power out than <clears throat> uh, clipless. People ask me about going uphill. I've never noticed any issues with it. So take that for what you will. But I definitely notice, I usually average three to four, I would say two to five mile more an hour and I forget how many watts it was I, I tested that on my indoor trainer, but it's it's significant. I can't even read it anymore I'm gonna have to stop it here my back. I need to move So yes, I don't I don't usually sit for very long. I'm usually moving I'd like to answer more But I'm not going to so hopefully you enjoyed my ride in the background. Hopefully this uh, was entertaining for you, if nothing else. Comments, questions down below. Um, if there's any videos of people, like if you have a suggestion for somebody, send me the video. I'm not going to go look these people up. It's just not going to happen. I know myself. So it's just not going to happen. If you want me to like review a video or look at a video, send it to me. If not, it's never going to happen. And that is that. Anyway, talk to you in the next one.